The seasons have changed, it's spring, it's warming up, your fruit trees are coming into life, the fruit is starting to form and suddenly you see a whole bunch of big gnarly blistering leaves on your peach trees, nectarines, sometimes your apricots, sometimes your nuts like almonds. What's going on? What is it? Well, that is peach leaf curl. And I'm here to tell you that peach leaf curl is not the end of the world. So let's start off at the very beginning. What is peach leaf curl? Well, it's very simple. It is a fungus. And it is a fungus that is harbored and spread through the leaves. As soon as you have the spores that blow through the wind that will land on the leaves as autumn comes, the spores will mature and they will land on the leaf nodes connecting to the stem that would then allow the spores to get into the tree and turn it into a systemic fungus. That is the be all and end all. It's a lot more complicated than that. It's literally just another one of the funguses that go around on your fruit trees. However, peach leaf curl is actually one of the better funguses because you can control it quite substantially and it needs very specific conditions to come into life. So. Now that we know what it is, let's have a look at how it manifests itself so that you know what you are looking for and how to identify if you have peach leaf curl on any of your trees at home. There is only one way in which peach leaf curl manifests itself and that's through the leaves. Its leaves develop these blistering, gnarly growths that are exactly that. They are growths. So what happens with peach leaf curl is it, uh, the fungus allows the cells to grow rapidly when they start coming out and that allows basically the cells to explode and start overpopulating creating this pretty crazy looking leaf now the leaf itself undergoes a few different stages when it first comes out and some of the first new growth in spring will be filled with leaves that look like this but they are red or purple in color. They're not going to be this lighter color. This is a more mature peach leaf curl leaf. And as you can see, once it goes from red or purple, it'll transition to this light green, almost cream color. Now the next stage from this is a powdery white substance underneath the curls over here. And that is what you don't want because that means your peach is starting to put on fungal spores on the underside of the leaves that's going to spread the fungus to other plants and even more so all over your plant. So what will happen is we're going to go from red or purple into this lime green peachy color. We're then going to get some white substances on the underside which are the spores. Your leaf is going to yellow and fall to the ground and as it falls it's going to release those spores and they're going to spread on the soil and spread all over your branches and the trunk. Bad news. And that's what we want to try and prevent. So if we now know what peach leaf curl is, we know what it looks like. Let's start talking about how to prevent it. And this is step one. You get two types of preventative measures with peach leaf curl. Summer and winter. And you need to be mindful of this because you need to do both. Peach leaf curl will appear under very specific conditions and that we will talk about a little bit later. But when your tree comes into bloom, flower, bud, it's going to put out its first flush of growth. And that's where you're going to see peach leaf curl, not in any subsequent flushes of growth. Now, when you first see peach leaf curl, you want to be picking off all of the infected leaves. And I mean all of them. Because remember, what I said is we want to control or limit the spread of the spores and the fungus through subsequent infections further in the tree. So we want to remove every single infected leaf. And lucky for me, this is the first time this tree has got it. So there's really not a lot. And if I nip this in the bud really early on, 
this is not going to affect the tree at all. I would say less than 5% of this tree actually has infected leaves, so removing them is going to be pretty straightforward. That is your summer care. Now for your winter care, there are two options and you can choose. You can either spray with lime sulfur and this is my preference personally because I find lime sulfur to be a very, very effective antibacterial, antifungal spray that you can put on your trees. But remember, it's winter, so it's a dormant spray. You do not want to spray lime sulfur as your buds are swelling or on any growth because it will burn new growth or leaves that are coming out. That being said, it is a very effective spray as a dormancy spray. Your next option is copper fungicide. You can use that most certainly. You do need to do a few more applications of copper fungicide compared to lime sulfur. And the only downside to copper fungicide is you do need to drench your tree, as in dripping. And you can, if you need to spray it quite regularly, you can create accumulation of copper in your soil, which can create a bit of an imbalance in your soil ecosystem, which is not always the greatest. So summer, leaf removal, winter sprays, have a look on your copper fungicide or lime sulfur bottle. It will give you peach leaf curl as an option. Then you need to maybe do one, two or three sprays, depending on the product, the brand, what you use. And if you do the, if those two things, you're going to really help your tree a lot and allow your tree to build up immunity to be able to fight a lot of the, the fungus itself where you are just playing a supportive role. Then it's really useful to look at the conditions under which peach leaf curl comes into its own. And it's simple. It comes out in spring and it comes out between certain temperatures. And that is between eight degrees, which I think is about 47 degrees Fahrenheit and 18 degrees, which I think is about 62 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we look at 8 to 16, that is the temperature range that peach leaf curl is going to come out. Now it needs to be in that range for around about two days. So if you have sudden hot days, sudden cold days, any fluctuations that's going to push you above 16 or below 8, you're not going to get this issue. I know we had very strange weather this spring where we had a few days of really hot or warm days and nights which are quite weird with a lot of rain and that just triggered this. The second one is besides temperature is rain and humidity. You need to have prolonged rain over the one to two day period in which you are maintaining that 8 to 16 degree temperature. So if you can get the temperature range plus the rain or have incredibly high humidity, peach leaf girl is going to get activated and it's going to rear its ugly head on all of your new spring growth. Now, why is this important? Because if you have a look at all of this growth, all of this new growth that's come out, there's no peach leaf girl because our daytime temperatures are now consistently above 22 degrees Celsius. We are no longer having cold days. And if they're cold, we are talking maybe 16, 17 degrees, but that is just maybe for half a day or so. So now we're having consistently warmer temperatures, the peach leaf curl is no longer active. So in really warm climates and dry climates, you might not even have a problem with this at all, but a wet spell, a humid spell could trigger it. And then you have to go into preventative mode and treat it so that it doesn't take over your tree. And that's it. It is not as complicated or as scary as a lot of people make it out to be. It's a simple fungus that you just need to preventatively remove leaves, spray it, look after your tree. It's not going to impact the fruits if you take it on from a really young age. If you leave it, what will happen is the branches all the way up to the stem eventually will have these little scaly um, effects on them and ultimately the tree will die. You must remember a leaf like this can't photosynthesize, which means it has a lot of leaves. It's expending energy to grow, but it's not creating any energy from these big solar panels on the tree. So removing them is gonna create a little bit of an imbalance in energy, but the new growth that's gonna come out is gonna 
create super healthy solar panels, bring in all of that energy, bring in all the sugars, create yummy fruit, healthy trees, and overall, a many, many years of productive harvests to come. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like to get more videos like this, more tips, tricks, and insights into healthy food and fruit growing. And please share this out with your fellow growers and communities so that you can help others not be scared by the common peach leaf curl, which at some point in time, if you are growing stone fruit, you will get. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy homesteading.